My most visionary project was the BMW of Sterling project. We realized that we started out as a small interior general contractor. Now we realize that we can move into the medium to small base building uh, environment. Given that project, this is not normal for a small business, but it helped to jumpstart our business and move us into the mainstream of construction industry in, in the D.C. metropolitan area. In 2013, DDG was approached by a design-build contractor, L. F. Jennings Incorporated, along with uh, MGMA Architects, uh, to renovate the building for a new cultural center for the um, Sultan of Oman that's dedicated to educating the people of the United States and Oman about the differences in the cultures. The commercial real estate market drives me each day. The challenges within this market drive me. And it allows you to um, not only learn about engineering, but learn about business, learn about different cultures, and that's what really drives me. So the, the project that we uh, submitted, I guess that we were nominated for, was the uh, merger acquisition of QPM products. The first lesson really is there's nothing like a strategic fit. When you make an acquisition or merge with a company that truly um, drives your strategy, uh, as this has, there's immediate excitement and immediate opportunity. So now, instead of going to clients and saying, we can do a great job for you in these five services, call us when you come to those. We can say to folks that have uh, properties around the country, if you've got properties, we can help. Our most noteworthy project over the last few years has been the uh, renovation of the Lord Baltimore property. Well, the biggest impact it's had in the community is it's injected life into a uh, dying property. They have cult cultural events there. They're very active in Everyman Theater. Um, recently, they filmed House of Cards there. One of the biggest lessons we learned was that we, we, had, to, we had to touch every space in the renovation. And we did several model rooms. We did uh, prototypes. We had to roll up our sleeves. Once again, it was very collaborative and we came up with a design that met the budget but also made a big splash and created the wow factor. The Steptoe Johnson Project is a in-place renovation of a major law firm in D.C. That project was completed in 13 phases over a year and a half while the project was occupied. The relationships that we built during that project really enabled us to move forward with other high-end law firm renovations. Our work with the Steptoe Johnson Project and other law firms in the D.C. area has gone to show that a minority-owned engineering company can really compete in the for-profit commercial market. I would say that the National Harbor Project for us, we've been working on for 20 years, was probably the most challenging. That project was started in the roaring times of 2000, the early 2000s. We've gone through recessions, and basically what we've learned is how to deal with every kind of business environment we face as a company. The tax revenues from this project for Prince George's County will be phenomenal, and how they put that to work for public safety and schools, it's gonna be a big economic driver for the state for many, many years, as well as the entire region.